I know you personally. Mm -hmm. you know, I know what's going on, but you know they don't know you, so I'm gonna ask you. So I mean, doing your uh, cause like when I first met you, you know, like cause when I first met you, you know, you had booked the video, and you know when I pulled up, it was you and your daddy. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. it seemed like y'all was real tight. Mm -hmm. You know, like from what I say, it's like I, I mean, is y'all still close? And, and, and then for us, like me, me and your daddy, it seemed like when it came down to you know your your label, you know the bread truck and mm -hmm. T. He would he was screaming that shit tough, you know. He had that shit on his back, you know. Yeah, what I'm he saying? ripping for sure. You know, so like like when it come down to the uh to the to, to the bread truck and T, I mean, did you come up with that or did your daddy come up with that or y'all came up with it together? It was it was most more so. I I say it's a family thing. I because I I can't say at that time when I was really trying to put it together. You know what I'm saying? I had him. You know what I'm saying? My uncles and shit like. We was I I say it was like a family effort as far as like creating the idea. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Of like bread truck. You know what I'm saying? The idea. But me, I was already before that I was already being an artist, doing my own thing, but we just like, damn, what we gonna push, what we gonna really be the brand type shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he was for sure supporting for sure. Yeah, okay. So uh like when I first and then like a little bit before I had met you, you know, like I know, uh, you know, some of your family members, you know mm, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And um, I remember like they used to come to the Chris, and I remember seeing like the the uh, the uh, the CD cover, you know, like it, like you were sitting in the back of the truck when you had the money up to your ear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And on that mixtape, the bread truck. That, hey, folks, a lot of folks don't know about that. That 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 tape right there, so fucking hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, no, I knew that. Fuck you, talking about yeah, I know. I know. Hey, we, I, hey, we've been knowing each other for a little minute. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I mean, you know, like for us, like, see, because I remember you, you know, as a youngin, but you know, like you was a young nigga, you know, you know, I'm thirty two. How are you? Are you? I'm twenty three now. So you know, you gotta think, shit. When I was eighteen, nineteen, you was a young nigga. I, you know, so but yeah. I remember, like, you know, what I'm saying, Dad, and I remember I had like uh, listen to the mixtape, and you know, like, shit, you know, like compared to now, of course, you way better, but you know, you was a young nigga. But on that mixtape, you had some features on that joint. Did you have money bag on that joint? Yeah, I had money bag on that joint. You time. had money bag on I'm that I'm talking about when I first started, I collab with money bag. That was, that was one of my first tape I just really put together. Yeah, it was on that joint. And you had Pro Project Pat on that joint. Project Pat on that joint. So, we finna get it to, okay, now you... don't know about it. Yeah, yeah see, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, I know. So, like, when, uh, so like when it come down to it, like, you getting a feature with money bag. Yeah. How did that come about? Did you uh like at that time? See, that had to be around the time when Money Bag came out with Federal. I'm guessing it was before. It was right before. I'm gonna tell you how it happened though. All right, so bam. At that time, I'm just I'm shopping around with Beats, and at that, at that time, me and D Mac, we was we was locked in. I, I can't even remember just how me and D Mac had first met, but I me and him were locked in. That might I used to get so many beats from him when I when I had came back to Memphis. Man, D-Man had locked in. He was telling me something. He was telling me my bag. He was telling me my bunny bag before he even just started popping, popping for real. I'm talking about before back from Cali and all that. See, yeah, because like when I first got on Money Bag, my partner Antonio had put me up with the first. The first I heard from Money Bag was that uh, the back, the back from Cali jump. Yeah. And I remember he was asking me, he was like, man, you ever heard a dude named Money Bag? I'm like, nah, I ain't never heard of him. You know what I'm saying? We, we had Jig do shooting a video, one of my videos. And he had put it in. He was playing federal. I was listening, I'm like, dude, that ain't sound advanced, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, some some shit you hear, yeah. you be like, damn, like, who is that? For? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it make you just like, say, who, who is that? that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So this how it was with bag, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, uh, and, and, and what you was saying then? So, bam, D-Mac, he, he would tell me about money bag. We was smoking and shit. He playing, the, um, he playing bag. He said, bro. You need to get the you need to, you need to get a song with John for so he start taking off. He finna take off. That was D Mac telling me. So I ain't, honestly I ain't even know who he was. I just knew he was hard, and I was just me being a young nigga. I'm saying D Mac. He was like, "This is a good idea." So shit, fuck it, let's do it. So you know what I'm saying. He ended up re reaching out the money bag, or whatever, and we had put put it together. D Mac had produced the John. Where he charged you for that feature? Bro, he charged me five hundred. He charged me five hundred. I bet you wish he would charge five hundred now. That boy <laughs> probably charge five hundred. That, that man bag, 
You know what I'm saying? Really, I don't just disclose like what nigga be charged. But yeah, yeah, yeah. At, I feel, at I feel, the time, I mean, at I mean, the time, I mean, shit. Yeah, you know, you, you know, because that's a he you was, know a cooker. That he, ain't what he charged. That yeah, ain't what that, you charge. You you charging more than that for yeah, a feature. So you know shit, what I'm saying? But like like I said, this was before. They were before bag got the bud. So you five hundred to a, a nigga that's rapping and I ain't really got no bu- buzz, but you hard, but you finna get there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that that shit mean a lot. You know what I'm saying? Five hundred, five hundred, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For features, so shit. And he showed he he showed love. You know what I'm saying? He showed love when we dropped. Because like it can always because you gotta think, even though, you know, like when where did y'all drop that song? Like in 2014, 2015, something like that? So I'm right, tw- right so you gotta think. 2015. It was 2015. Okay, so you got to think. When you blow up, you know what I'm saying, they go back and check your music out, they still go hear that. Oh, damn, him and Bad, they was already locked in back then. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might fuck around and have a whole hit record with Jig on Jack Speaker, how about that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you on, you know, you on the way. Yeah. You know, like motherfuckers see that. <laughs> T-Bone, let's get it, man. T-Bone on that. 